Hey folks, everything new under the sun. Some breaking news from information I saw on BP Earthwatch's uh, channel about uh, Turkey, a major offensive uh, occurring. And um, so apparently he's on his blog talk radio and um, some Operation Olive Branch, breaking news, as you can see there. And he's talking about armored convoys um, rolling through uh, Turkey. Um, so interesting. It's a two and a half minute clip. You can, uh, well, you can just look at the the name of that video and go check it out. It's from yesterday, the 29th, uh, late uh, late yesterday, I guess. And I found this uh, article. This is on Debco.com, and this seems to be what uh, what he's talking about here. Uh, Erdogan holds back on threatened conquest of Afrin. Goes for Manjib. Um, so apparently this is what they're talking about. And Debka, this is a this is a, a military intelligence uh, site. Um, Turkish president has told Trump and Putin he would not seize North Syrian Afrin from the Kurds after insignificant gains in his three-day military assault. Debka sources report that notwithstanding the Turkish army's claim to have captured four Afrin villages, there were no real military clashes, and the Kurdish YPG militia simply opened. The door. Turkish forces are meanwhile making no preparations. They appear to have uh, marked out a narrow strip of uh, the northern Syrian border re uh, region to pave the way for moving eastwards towards the Kurdish held town of Manjib. Our sources report that Turkey's war for Afrin is virtually at a standstill, but for sporadic cross border artillery shelling and occasional airstrikes confer confirming. Erdogan's assurance to the U.S. and Russian presidents that he was not planning to conquer Afrin. So Turkey uh, is really reaching out, projecting military power in Syria. Russia doesn't like it. U.S. doesn't like it. No one really like, likes it. The, the other part of the news is that um, Turkey is now buying weaponry. They stopped buying weaponry from the U.S. Remember, Turkey is part of NATO still, I believe. Um, if I'm correct there, um, and, but they have now shifted from buying weapons from the U.S. Now they're shift, uh, now they're buying weapons from China and Russia, and they they have certainly moved over to that camp. So it goes on. Our sources' prediction that his next target would be Manjit, Man, sorry Manjib, was confirmed Tuesday, January the 23rd, when Syrian sources reported that Turkish army had opened another front and was advancing towards. Azaz to the east of Afrin and 32 kilometers northwest of Aleppo. Now Erdogan is demanding that Kurds pull back across the river, namely evacuate Manjib. Diplomatic mail moved between Ankara and Washington with uh, no real U.S. action beyond demands for restraint. On Monday the 23rd, uh, when his communications with Moscow on the Afrin issue came to light, Erdogan declared Turkey will not step back from Operation olive branch until its goals are achieved. So I guess uh, the, the commentator on, on BP's channel there is talking about a, a new movement and this is kind of the, the background of it and uh, what's what's going on. So uh, Moscow is keeping open lines with Ankara for two objectives of its own. Number one is to try and save Sochi peace track for Syria in time to hold its next conference January 30th which would be today. Uh, Russia initiated this track with Turkey uh, and Iran as so as co-sponsors, but to be validated, all the factions fighting in the Syrian war must be represented there. And number two, Moscow is also taking flak from Tehran. Iran and Egypt have joined Syria uh, in condemning the Turkish offensive. Iran and Syria are now digging their heels in against any changes in the Syrian constitution, a topic which uh, uh, was to have uh, topped the agenda at Sochi. So that is an interesting one. Um, uh, I'll I'll put the link here to uh, to Debka. Um, this is this is an article from uh, January twenty third. But basically, some background uh, on uh, the discussion. And uh, I guess I guess information I was looking for information about um, you know backing up that uh, a big uh, military movement uh, by Turkey was moving across, and I haven't found that yet. Um, so that is something to look at. It's interesting news about what's occurring there. Specifically with Turkey, because Turkey's kind of doing their own thing, uh, so far as I understand the the geopolitics at this point. They don't like the Kurds. U.S. like the U.S. likes the Kurds, um, and so there's uh, tension there. And of course, Russia and 
Iran uh, don't really want uh, uh, Turkey doing their own thing in there either. So interesting stuff, interesting news coming out of uh, Debka and uh, out of uh, BP Earthwatch's uh, channel there uh, related to his his blog talk radio discussion um, that I want to, to get out to you. So check it out. Um, check out that, that short two and a half minute video on BP Earthwatch's channel. And um, check out this Debka as well. This has a lot of uh, the latest military intelligence uh, coming out uh, that's out there. So let me know what you guys have found if you guys uh, see any more information related to this. Um, interesting stuff. Uh, you know, movements on the ground as we speak.